fluid, ongoing investigation, and there's a lot of things that we don't know. I'm going to give you the information we do know. Uh, its credibility is, is near certain uh, to this point, but there's just some things we don't know and some things we're speculating about. So with that said, I'll start off with a timeline on what occurred starting this morning at 8.05 a.m. Uh, we received a call from a attorney Michael Gates' office here in Shalimar uh, stating that his client, Joel Dixon Smith, uh, was present at his office and prepared to be served with domestic violence injunction paperwork that we had in our office. At 8.08 a.m., uh, Deputy Bill Myers arrived on scene uh, to serve Smith with this injunction. And according to witnesses, the injunction was served and discussion regarding firearms confiscation ensued at that point. Uh, Smith was uh, supposedly stated, weapons are in my vehicle. Deputy Myers proceeded in that direction with Smith following him. <clears throat> Witnesses state that Smith then pulled a concealed firearm and, shoot and shot Deputy Myers in the back multiple times, one striking him in the rear of his head. At 8.20 a.m., an emergency call was received by a citizen who witnessed the incident. Uh, that call was received by our dispatch stating that an officer had been shot. At 8.22 a.m., the suspect's vehicle description was given as a black truck and a BOLO or be on the lookout uh, broadcast was given throughout our agency. At 8.24 a.m., suspect vehicle was spotted by Sergeant Ron Kimball, uh, located between the TAC gate and North gate on Highway 85. Sergeant Kimball followed the vehicle, seeking confirmation from other units until overt action was taken by the suspect near Turkey Creek in Nashville. At 8.30 a.m., the wife of the suspect called Oakley's County Sheriff's Office and advised the suspect told her he had just shot a deputy. <clears throat> at 8.31 a.m., patrol units observed the suspect Smith stop at Comfort Inn in Nashville. Suspect Smith fled inside the Comfort Inn while leaving his vehicle open and running. Patrol units set up a, perim a perimeter at that time and I identified the suspect's room as room 205 per hotel management. The hotel was evacuated by patrol units of all its occupants and they were taken to the KFC across the street in Nashville. At 8.50 a.m., uh, the evacuation of the hotel was complete. The deployment of our SRT, our special response team, and the crisis negotiation teams uh, was conducted. The next hour and 45 minutes uh, were sporadic phone calls and contacts with a suspect family members and negotiators. At 10.15 a.m., uh, tear gas was introduced into the hotel room, and within minutes, the subject exited the room, brandishing a handgun, and was engaged by our SRT members. The subject was shot multiple times, whereby SRT members, medics, immediately rendered aid, and EMS subsequently transported suspect Smith to the Fort Beach Medical Center, where he expired while being worked on there. <coughs> That's what we know of the timeline uh, thus far. We just recently uh, found out that uh, Deputy Myers uh, expired at 2.14 p.m. after surgery at the hospital. I can't say enough good things about Deputy Myers, and, and so I, will, I won't attempt to tell you the good things about that man. I would tell you he was dedicated. He was a professional. He was committed to this thing we call law enforcement. He was committed to the people of this community. He was retired. He came back and he worked part-time uh, serving civil process so he earned a little extra spending money to take his granddaughter to Disney World. That's what he loved to do. He loved Disney World. He loved his granddaughter. And uh, he will be sorely missed. He uh, was with us for 25 years before he retired. And... Uh, he came back in January of this year and was just serving a civil process. Uh, he has wife Jan, Sean, Eric, Sean's sons, Sean and son Eric and son Adam, and his beloved granddaughter Abby. He loved photography as well. Um, his arrangements, uh, we'll, we'll notify you when we, when we know those things. I've spoken with his wife and one of his sons. Uh, they're devastated. You just don't wake up expecting that. Um, I know very little about the suspect. Uh, Joel Dixon Smith, 33 years of age, 
uh, had an eight month old child. That last known address was 1477 Oakmont Place in Nashville. Uh, he was previously arrested in April 9, 2008 by Walton County Sheriff's Office for domestic battery. <clears throat> he was served uh, an injunction this morning which required the surrender of his firearm. Uh, a firearm was recovered from his room, from his person. As far as the coordination uh, with the various agencies that were involved today, uh, professionalism was certainly displayed today on multiple fronts. And this community, uh, their outpouring of support and grief. Uh, we are so fortunate, so blessed to live in this community. I spoke with the governor's office and Governor Scott, and uh, spoke with Attorney General Pam Bondi's office in, in regards to uh, compensation for our lost deputy and his family. Uh, FDLE Commissioner Rick Swergen called and uh, said he would expedite any lab or forensics that we needed. Uh, conducted in this investigation. Uh, State Attorney Bill Eden and uh, Assistant State Attorney Bill Bishop have were on scene and working with us and uh, will review our investigation when it's concluded. <coughs> the Florida Highway Patrol and Fish and Wildlife were on scene and, and helping direct traffic and closing roads and uh, one of the Fish and Wildlife guys even joined our, our special response team and at the front of the hotel the local municipalities uh, bent over backwards and continue to do so in taking calls. Uh, I'll be meeting with our agency at 4 o'clock today uh, so we can discuss this with our employees so they don't hear it secondhand and thirdhand. And <clears throat> I certainly will not politicize this event at this time, but at some point in the near future, you will hear from me and you'll hear from this agency on, what, on how we got here. So I ask everybody to remember the family and the family alone during this time of grief. There'll be plenty of time for the politics, but not now. Now is not the time. <clears throat> the Marshal Service, Walton and Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office, EMS and firefighters at both scenes, heroes. And of course our deputies and our folks and the grieving that, that, that they will go through in the next days, months, and years. At this time, I'll open it up for any questions. And, uh, all of that will be given to you in a packet uh, as far as those spellings. Yes, ma'am. He was already a guest there. He had checked in the night before, I believe. Any other questions? I'm talking 